three minutes. <laughs> All right. Now, where are we going? Number 12, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, t- number 12 is 25 to life. Now, I'm a bit confused. I don't know if talking to myself is DJ Cali or 25 to life is DJ Cali. Some people are saying 25 to life. Now, if it is. Well, that I'm sounds a- like a street song to me. Yeah, exactly. Life, so I think that I don't think won't back down. That doesn't sound like DJ Khaled at all because I think we both know DJ Khaled. I think is a great, you know, producer, I think he's a yeah. great producer. Yeah, but he makes a lot of southern, very clubby street, beats. Yeah. yeah, street stuff. Yeah. So I think this is I think this is the DJ Khaled song just from the name. I can I can say that it's DJ. Khaled. Yeah. And 25 to life. What does that sound like, you know? Yeah, on top of that, what I think Eminem's going to go for in this, and for some reason the second I saw his title popped in my head, is I'm thinking he's going to go for a type of song like Run, Rabbit, Run, where he just goes like on that beat constantly. He never stops. He just goes and goes like anger, frustration, uh, just like multis on multis. Like, he just doesn't stop. He just keeps going and going and going. And if it's like think- that, I'll take it. I think this is going to be a street song, and I think this is going to be a very strong street song, meaning it's going to – I think he's going to – yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be a soldier, but I also think it's going to dress like, you know, stop with the street shit, guys. It's ridiculous. You know, there's – so I think that's going to be sending a message to, you know, the streets, you know, about the killings and everything, but maybe he's from I, – I don't know what he's doing, but um, yeah. I think that will definitely be an anger trick. It could be. It could be so many things. It can also mean that twenty five life something like he twenty five life in the game. Like he's been in here twenty five, yeah. you know, years, and he's in here for life now, and whatever, something like that. Who knows? But I think it's going to be great. Now, so bad again. I'm hearing it's going to be a Dr. Dre beat right away. I got the vibe that it's going to be some like the Despicable freestyle. And it's going to have yeah. like those punchlines. It's going to be funny but serious. That's all I have right now. That's what I think because it's like such a fucking vague title, so bad. Yeah, I think that that I think on this track, my personal opinion, he's gonna take shots at every single rapper he hates. I think so too. I think there's gonna be a lot. I think there's gonna be a lot of shots in this song. And to be honest, I think this is gonna be a diss track. It could be. It could be that, or it could be that he's just so bad no one could fuck with him. Or it could just be a goofy track. Who the fuck knows, really, with this title? It could be anything. That's that's all. This is probably the most vague one on there, next to WTP. There's really no way you can say what it's going to be. Exactly. Now, Almost Famous. I think this is going to be the sample track. I I, I don't know yeah. if a song out yeah. there called Almost Famous, but I have a feeling it's going to have gonna that. I was going to say that, too. I have the feeling it's going to have that same sort of... um. Like, your your making it but you're not quite there yet and kind of giving hope kind of like not afraid but in a less like church way and more like kind of like lose yourself a little bit yeah almost like lose yourself like you can make it if you try oh my god if it has like a guitar yeah. like riff like lose yourself oh this will be my favorite fucking track yeah but you never know it's it does sound kind of serious doesn't sound you know joking around but it could just be more not so serious more like inspirational so you know, I'm hoping the best for that one. And then the next one is this one is either a hit or a miss for me. Yeah. Rihanna, for the most part, I've only liked two of her songs. Now, when she does good things, like uh, what was that song? Um, um I Unfor- like Disturbia. No, there was another one. Unforgivable, un- unfaithful, unfaithful, excellent song, or. Her chorus on Run This Town is one of the one, probably one of the most memorable choruses in like the last four years. Um, yeah. If she comes like that, or that other song she did with Ti, Live Your Life. If she comes yeah. with any of that type of shit, because obviously she's only going to do the chorus, I think it could be a classic track. I think if she comes like that, if she comes like some fucking rude boy shit or some fucking. I'm a rude boy, boy getting I hate it up. So it is. It is so annoying and it's disgusting. I mean, I, sex is great, but don't talk about getting his dick up in your vagina. I don't need to hear that. But, uh, really, it's just if she comes with serious song or not even serious, but kind of like you know we run this shit. But it sounds more kind of like a love song. So I'm I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, I love the way you lie. That that just sort of that just sounds like a uh, lust track. Yeah, it really does. So I guess we'll, it's Rihanna. Yeah. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be not a sex song because that's that's not M style. Yeah. But um, I think it's gonna be a very. You know what? 
this could be a Kim song. It could. It could be in a way. It could be a sort of Kim song. It would or be at least scary. A little bit of hint of it. It would be scary if Rihanna's on a song and Elsa and everyone comes in and says, yeah. "Fucking tell you, bitch!" <laughs> it, would, it, would, it would scare the shit out of me a bit. I probably wouldn't want to listen to that because it would scare me. Now, Kim, in terms of lyrical, is some of his best work. It's almost like art because everything he says you can follow almost like an image. I mean, if he does that without the, you know, Wait, it's kind of yeah, like it's a scary song, but. When you listen to it, everything he's saying is image. Like, you, when he's yeah. on the road, that fucking part where he's like, yeah, fuck you, asshole. Fight exactly. me. Like, you can it, you can picture him doing that. And it, exactly. it, that's, that's art. There's not a lot of songs that can do that. And it's a disturbing fucking song. And I don't want another Kim because yeah. it's a scary-ass song. But if it is a no, song... It definitely won't be another Kim because something like Rihanna, I think it's going to be a sort of soft... But it's also going to have that sort of hint of, you know, lust and anger yeah. to it. Yeah, I guess that one, you know, I, to me, if it's bad, whatever. I'm not really looking forward to it, but if it's good, yeah. then, you know, more good songs. But again, you know, it's the second to last track. So, and he's and he's saving Rihanna, the last feature. I know. Of people, so maybe, maybe this is a hype track, you know, all the others are sort of, uh, so you're sort of, you know, getting close to the big finale. Yeah, it could be that it changes totally, like... The uh, Marshall Matters LP more changed from, like, very... It, it starts... Well, no, Marshall Matters is pretty varied, actually. So is Eminem Show, too. I can't even say... Fuck. Well, that, really anything. But, yeah. This yeah. one is my third most anticipated track. You're never yes, over. Yes, I want to say that before you said that, but it's okay. But uh, if you don't mind, I would like to go. Okay. okay. But, anyway, I just want to say one thing about this track. This is obviously going to be a continuation of, you know, his last tracks of his previous albums, you know, with Criminal, uh, So Don't Give a Fuck, and... Underground. Uh, underground, yeah. But um, I think this is going to... This might be one of the strongest tracks he's probably ever done, hopefully, in terms of his present-day stuff. Yeah, I but think... I, th I, think if, I think with a title like that, and especially when it's the last song on the album... I think you know what it's. My guess is it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, maybe a little bit of criminal mixed or no, it's probably gonna be a little bit. Of Still don't give a fuck mixed with um a uh, fuck. What was it? Um, shit. I'm sorry, I forgot. I was gonna say criminal mixed with um something else. I f Still don't give a fuck or something like that. Anyway, um, I'll let you go, but I just want to say. I think this is going to be one of the strongest tracks, and I'm actually really excited for this track to see how he comes with this because that title alone just gets me really hyped. So, um, yeah. I mean, that that's my opinion on it. Yeah, I mostly agree. I hear this is going to be produced by Eminem, so what I'm expecting... Oh, really? Is, yeah, I'm expecting a very heavy bass, you know, boom, boom, like kind of like, t uh, t uh, what do you call it? Um, Fuck. Well, well, almost everything on 8 Mile. So I'm expecting something like that. Um, what would be awesome is to have a song like 8 Mile. That's exactly what I thought when I thought of it. It could be closer to Underground and Still Don't Give a Fuck, but for some reason I'm getting a vibe it's going to be closer to... I want to say Till I Collapse, but... Oh yeah, not, that's true. Not like Till I... Because Till I Collapse, the, the chorus is very different to me than the verses. The chorus is more like I'll never give up, but the the uh, verses, especially the second and especially the third, are like a full-on attack on the rap game. And I think it, he's going to do that, but kind of flip it where he's not so much attacking the rap game as more as it's like like the good artists are never done with. Like, you're never over, no matter if you retire, if you're done with one, you put That's out it. shit. Damn it. You just yeah. reminded me. I think this track is going to be about how he's not going anywhere. It's going to be about you know, you guys know he's talked about how, you know, he's going to, you know, be rapping for almost the rest of his life. Yeah. But um, I think that that's going to be that kind of track. I think this track, is it's going to be a very sort of, you know, I'm back, you know, this is it, this is me, and, you know, I'm not going anywhere for a long time. Yep, basically, like, deal with and it. And I, th I think, he, yeah, exactly. So it could be a little anger track, but it could be, you know, hey, respect me. Yeah. Or it could be an emotional track. And I think he's going to talk about, you know, everyone. You know, he's going to talk about Dre, 
Yeah. Um, Dre, you know, especially, I think he might even talk about rising stars, you know? Yeah, like, you know, definitely. Or Drake. So, um, but again, like, you know, with these other ones, we don't know exactly what it is, but, um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yep. Now, if it goes out like Criminal Underground or Still Don't Give a Fuck, I, I don't mind because yeah. I think that's a perfect way to end an album in most respects. Though Eminem Show kind of did it with uh, my mom, dad. my, mom, my dad's dad found crazy. But um, the first two verses it wasn't were really it, it was very light. The first two verses compared to Underground Still Don't Give. A, I think the third verse was on par with them, but you know you need a whole song to have that type of vibe. But overall. Whatever he goes out with, I think it's going to be one of the stronger songs on the album. So, overall, from the track list alone, I think it's a very experimental album, similar to Relapse. But instead of altering his voice or trying to go back to his old ways, he's branching out 